You are now entering the Royal Den. Hey everyone, I'm your host, Steve Ambrosius, aka OCPunk714. You can follow me on Instagram at OCPunk underscore 714. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, OCPunk714. Also, I will be having the Royal Buck Smoking Club website up soon, RoyalBuckSmokingClub.com. Salute to my brothers from Cali to Kansas, all the way up to Illinois. I appreciate your support and your fellowship. Now, I'm on to a topic this week that is of much debate. And I'm very curious myself as to what really makes an English blend English. I really can't find much on the subject, to be honest with you, other than every article will tell you that it contains Latakia, which Latakia is not uh, indigenous to Great Britain. It's from the Middle East. And so, to me, there's all kinds of different mixtures that I've noticed, American English, uh, the Scottish mixture, which is almost like an English blend. I I got a little confused. I have a Rattray's can of Black Mallory. It's their British collection, but it's a Scottish type blend, and it says English on the can. So you could definitely see where I might have a little bit of trouble deciphering what would be considered a real English blend. Now, a little background, and I'm still brushing up on my history, so forgive me if you have any pointers, uh, any type of comments. I'm not going to take offense. I know I'm a total newbie. But to my understanding, Britain had what were called tobacco purity laws, which meant that you could only add certain additives to tobaccos. So for me, I don't know if it was just uh, creation out of somebody's mind just to come up with these combinations because of the flavorful aspect of the different types of tobaccos because they even put Perique in some of their blends, uh, in English blends. And, you know, it's very interesting. It's all very interesting. And I just, it doesn't make sense to me because those are American grown, like Perique is grown in the St. James Parish. Um, Latakia comes from uh, the Middle Eastern region, it used to come from Syria, but now the crop of Syrian tobacco is, I don't know if it's officially gone, but people make their, usually have, uh, Cyprian Latakia. I found most of my blends, they are Cyprian. So, and I, I mean, I have tons of stuff in my cellar, and I think Esoterica is the only one that's made in in somewhere near Britain. Um, Dunhill, I had no idea that they were made in Germany now. I seriously thought they were one of the last, you know, of the English. I, I did not know. But they're still making their tobaccos that they you know, had mixed the same way for years and years and decades and decades, going back to Sir Alfred Dunhill. When we come back, I will be doing some recommendations and talking about some English blends or style blends or mixtures. Coming up next.
Hey everyone, we're back. Now, I just kind of wanted to tail off that last discussion by uh, referencing an article from Pipes Magazine. It's by Bob Tate, and he considers all English type blends to be Latakia blends. So I found that to be an interesting point, and I'm more inclined to almost agree with that uh, assessment. So I'm just, I'm still working at it. I still have plenty of research to do. I want to talk to some of my friends. Shout out to the Peaches 13. Uh, whenever you guys have free time, I'd still like to talk about some of the things that are... Uh, going on in the tobacco shops out there because I got nothing man I got nothing to go on here it's like everything I do is online and it's it's pretty bad <laughs> so on to my recommendations country squire blends again Baker Street Shepherd's Pie those are my two newest favorites if I had to name a third it would be the Red Stag by Cornell and Deal um, I got a bunch of other non-aromatics in. I got a nice Scottish blend, uh, Rattray's, uh, Black Mallory, that is part of the British collection. I'm sorry, I just had a total brain fart right there. The British collection from the good folks at Rattray's. I think that's kind of all I wanted to touch on today and I have more questions and more recommendations and I will gladly take any questions comments um there's no need for slander if you don't like what I say you can speak with me in a very civil manner and I am very very welcome to any criticism that you may have so you all have a blessed night and have a wonderful tomorrow. I'm OC Punk 714.